So the next thing that we are understanding is termed as magnification. When we talk about magnification produced by a mirror or a spherical mirror, we are talking in terms of the height of the image and the height of the object. That means we are simply comparing the height of the image to the height of the object. But we also know that whenever we compare something, we have to take their ratios. So what is magnification? Magnification is basically the ratio of what and what. It is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. So what is magnification? Simply the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. And one thing that we should know is that magnification is denoted by small letter m. Now when we talk about magnification, we know that it is a ratio. But this ratio is equal to something. Now what is it equal to? To understand that, we need to have a base diagram. So here we have a base diagram for a concave mirror. We know that over here capital C is the center of curvature. So we write that. Capital F is the focus. We write that. Now we are going to place an object on this. So here we are placing an object that is AB and we know that objects are placed always perpendicular to the surface. Now AB is actually the height of the object and height of the object is denoted by H to the base O, O for object, H to the base O. So we write AB is the height of the object denoted by H to the base O. Now we know that a ray of light would be incident from the object parallel to the principal axis it is going to strike the mirror at a point that is, let's say, x. And after reflection, from where is it going to pass? Through the focus, right? So here, we have applied the first rule, right? Now what we need to understand is, if I were to incident a ray of light from point B at the pole, what am I doing? I am incidenting a ray of light from point B at the pole. This point P right now becomes the point of incidence. And we always draw what from the point of incidence? A normal. But we already have a normal in the form of principal axis. So here, this angle that you see over here becomes the angle of incidence. Let us denote it by theta. What is the law of reflection? We know that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So following the law of reflection, this incident ray would get reflected in this direction. And this angle, that is the angle of reflection, would also be equal to theta. So that is what we are writing here. A ray coming from B, coming from B is incident at the pole. It is incident at the pole with an angle of incidence theta and gets reflected with the same angle theta. Right? Now, this is the point of intersection after reflection. The reflected rays are meeting at this point after reflection. So at this particular point, the image would be formed and we name the image as A dash B dash. What was the height of the object denoted by H O? So height of the image would be denoted by H I. Image I. So height of the image denoted by H I. So A dash B dash is nothing but the height of the image. That is H to the base I. Now. A dash B dash. Is A dash B dash forming a part of a triangle? Is it a part of a triangle? Yes, of course it is. If you see properly, it is a part of a triangle that is B dash A dash P. Similarly, AB, that is the height of the object, is a part of the triangle B A P, right? So somehow, if we prove these two triangles to be similar, we can find the relation that we were talking about some time back. So let's try and prove them similar, alright? So as you can see, we have this angle that is 90 degrees and this angle that is 90 degrees. So we have one angle or one pair of angles same that is equal. And if we get one more, then we can prove them similar by AA criterion, right? And we already have one pair of angles equal over here. That means angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, right? So we have two pair of angles equal so we can prove these two triangles similar by AA criterion. That is triangle B dash A dash P, B dash A dash P, similar to triangle B A P, triangle B A P. And what is the reason? By AA criterion of similarity. Now we know that whenever two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding sides are also similar. So let's write down the ratios. So we can write B dash A dash 
upon BA, which can also be written as A dash B dash upon AB is equal to A dash P upon AP, which can also be written as PA dash upon PA, right? So here, these are corresponding sides of similar triangles. Now we can also take the third side, that is the third ratio, that is B dash P upon BP. Where is B dash P? B dash P. And where is BP? We have BP over here, right? But why are we not taking it? Because they are not required. They have no relation right now with the object or the principal axis or the image, right? So here we have this equation with us, which is very, very important. Now, A dash B dash, we have A dash B dash. What is A dash B dash? A dash B dash is nothing but the height of the image. What is it denoted by? H to the base I, right? So we have H to the base I. But here we have to consider something. As per the sign conventions, we know that whatever we measure below the principal axis will always be negative. So is this image form below the principal axis? Yes, it is. That means do we have to take HI or minus HI? we have to take minus hi. So a dash b dash is equal to minus hi. Now we have ab over here, right? ab is nothing but height of the object. Height of the object is denoted by what? h to the base o, right? So we have h to the base o. Is it above the principal axis or below the principal axis? Above. So positive or negative? Positive. So we write ab is equal to h o. Then we have pa dash. Where is pa dash? We have pa dash over here but it is the distance between the pole and the image. That means it is the image distance. What is it denoted by? V. But as per the sign convention, we have to consider something. The ray of light, the incident ray is traveling from right to left, right? From your right to your left. And the distance that we are measuring, that is the image distance, is from the pole towards the image. That is from your left to your right. This is against the direction of the incident ray. That means we have to consider a negative sign. That means PA dash is equal to minus V. Then what do we have? We have PA, right? Where is PA? We have PA over here. And it is nothing but the distance between the pole and the object. That is the object distance denoted by U. So do we have to take it negative or positive? Yes, of course, we have to take it negative. And you already know the reason. Because it is against the direction of the incident ray. So we have PA is equal to minus U. So now we have these values. What we are going to do is we are going to substitute these values in this equation. So A dash B dash. What is the value of A dash B dash? Minus HI. So we write minus HI. Upon AB. What is AB? We have AB over here. That is H to the base O. Right? Then we have PA dash. And PA dash is nothing but minus V. So we write minus V. Then PA. PA is equal to minus U, so we write minus U. Now, if you take the same equation, you can see we have on the right hand side minus V, minus U, so minus minus gets cancelled. Here we have minus H1, so we can shift the minus sign to the right hand side. So, what do we have? HI upon HO is equal to minus V upon U. Do we have a relation now? Yes, we do have. HI is height of the image, HO is height of the object, minus V is the image distance and U is the object distance. So what do we have here? We have HI. What is HI? Height of the image, right? What is HO? Height of the object. So are we getting a ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object? Yes, right? And what is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object called as? Magnification. So magnification is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. But here you can see in the equation that we have, this ratio is equal to something. It is equal to minus of V upon U. What is small v? Image distance. And what is small u? Object distance. So here we realize that magnification, which is the ratio of height of the image to the height of the object, is also equal to the negative of the ratio of the image distance to the object distance. So this is how we understand the formula for magnification, which is very, very important in terms of numericals. We are also going to see certain numericals in that we are going to utilize this formula, that is magnification formula. And yes, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon.